Oh no, there's 2% battery and I'm copying this file. This is the Windows XP VM that I was working on. Remember a couple weeks ago I filmed that. I don't need it sitting here on the drive. It's in my root. Um, I don't need it, but I've spent enough time building it. It's a really good XP VM should I need one, but don't need it on the root. I guess I have to password authenticate to delete. I'll do that in a minute. Uh, but I do have it saved now on the four terabyte drive. So should I need it, I'll just bring the .vm or .vm file back over to the drive and boot it up. But we're on 1%, so I'm going to eject this drive before we get issues with that and continue about my day. It's dried out some, which is nice. Uh, I may take the bike out here in a bit. I've got all this pent up energy from doing stuff inside. Um, pretty warm, happy with that. So yesterday I didn't show you, but we got the alternator for the E60. Yeah, we're doing that too. It's got generator related codes and, and on cold starts it comes up and says charging malfunction. So that's cool. Um, so this is a Vallejo, which is the OE. New alternator, nice smooth bearing. So that'll go in when we get the belts and you know we're gonna replace the serpentine belt and the AC belt. Um, then we're doing brakes. Pads and rotors are all, well the pads we put on at 18,000 miles, they were Hawk. And I don't want to put pads that have 88,000 miles or 82,000 miles back on. So we got new Hawk HPS going on. Rotors, uh, we haven't actually ordered yet. We're just trying to uh, spread out some expenses. So rotors will come, then we'll do the pads, all the hardware. We've got the alternator, the belts are coming. We're doing front sway links, those are on their way. Front wishbones, those are on their way and all the hardware. Michelin Pilot, what do they call these now? Sport 4S on the front. It's already got these tires on the rear. They've got some life in them. They're probably half, three quarters worn, but still some life. Fronts are shot, so we're gonna put these on. Also refinish the wheels when that happens. And then the other thing that showed up, we ordered some impact guns and we got these bits uh, for the one gun. Not the impact, but more just when you got like 60 bolts that you need to take off. I can adapt the drill to 3 8 quarter or half, put a socket on it, and just go to town. That's going to save so much time and energy. And there's an impact gun coming too that's something like 1,200 pounds of torque in reverse. Another box showed up about 30 seconds after the last clip I filmed. This one uh, came from San Jose, which is weird because SCP Euro, as far as I know, has nothing to do with San Jose, California, but apparently they do. Um, and these are the only parts that came. There's like 20 parts in the order, but these came from San Jose. The rest is coming on Friday. Uh, these are the Lemforder front straight arms for the E60 wishbones. The driver's side or the passenger side has that little thing sticking out of it there for the headlight uh, level sensor. So they will go in as soon as we get the rest of the other hardware. Where are you going? New York. You excited for the cold? No. Yeah. Only five days. Five days? Right. Or set Five, four, six. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Five days. You'll be there like four days, including the travel days. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck on the red eye. Thank you. Yeah, and that's why there's light pollution. Look at all that. They're shining the lights up on the Mormon temple here in San Diego, and the sky is just this colored mess because it's humid right now and it's still cloudy. None of these things are finally dry, but. Just dropped off Megan at the airport. I didn't even make it to the highways before she texted and said that she's at the gate. Uh, TSA pre-check at SAN is minutes from curbside to the gate, which is very nice. Um, so she's going to New York to visit the family that she used to uh, babysit for just north of New York City. She'll be there for, uh, whatever I said, five, five days or something like that. Um, so what happened today? I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here because I, I get tired of doing it in the garage at home. I did get a couple of things done today, not a lot. Took delivery of some more items. We saw the tires, some bits, um, stupid crap like that. Uh, did a bunch of cleaning and organizing and um, organizing of the receipts and stuff for the business. We made some progress on a car that we're interested in. Um, it's slow, it's real slow. We're still working with the city. Uh, we did hear good news. We're on the docket now for um, Wednesday or Thursday, the 31st at 3 p.m. So if things go well there, then we will have our conditional use permit. We will be zoned for uh, the license we're applying for. 
and that's going to be really good if we can get that done on the 31st. So stay tuned for that. Tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow's supposed to be the last day of raid, uh, or the last day with raid, and then it gets really nice for the weekend and in the next week, like low to mid 70s and just full sun. So I can't wait for that again. Might get to cars and coffee this weekend. And that's kind of all I know. I'm going to head home, maybe do a little bit of Netflix and finish up the mail and get to bed early. So I'll talk to you guys on uh, whatever the hell Thursday tomorrow. Good night.